And the Oscar for the best actor goes to, drum roll please. Watson Lee Hirschfeld for his role in A Newborn Puppy has more of a chance of winning an Oscars than you. Well, I mean, it's, it's nice to dream, I guess. As of this very moment, we are only three more weeks away from one of the most prestigious awards ceremonies of the calendar year. And that is the Academy Awards, or the Oscars to you and me. And there's been some stunning films in 2019 that has captured our hearts in many different ways. But what are we going to expect in this year's Oscars? Welcome back to Bluntly Put. Ah, the awards season. The glitz, the glamour. I really want to be in there so bad. Anyways, the awards season is finally in full swing, as the biggest event in Hollywood is almost upon us. And every film lover in the world, including myself, is absolutely buzzing about this year's nominations for the Oscars. The Glitzy Awards will take place at the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood in LA. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, who's hosting the awards this year? Oh dear lord, what's going on now? Well, for the second year in a row, there actually won't be a host this year. American comedian Kevin Hart was originally supposed to present the awards last year in 2019, but he pulled out because of these historic homophobic tweets that resurfaced and he just refused to apologise. I mean, I know he apologised before, but just apologise again. I mean, how rare is it for you to, to host an award such as that? Like the Oscars. The Oscars. Let's talk about the nomination, shall we? Well, the Oscars like to do things a bit differently. So the full list of nominees was announced on Monday the 13th. Not by no script or no piece of paper that was just dished out on Twitter. This was actually a little special ceremony that they do every single year. Finally, these questions were finally actually going to be answered, such as, with incredible performances from Adam Driver, Scarlett Johansson, and Laura Dern, will Marriage Story actually get the recognition it deserves? Well, it was clear that The Joker, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Irishman, and 1917 were all going to be in front runners for the awards. I mean, all of them had like 10 and 11 nominations each. That's insane. Now, what was brilliant, and I mean brilliant about this nomination, was the fact that the film Parasites, directed by Bong Joon-ho, made history as it became the first South Korean film to be nominated for Best International Feature. I mean, honestly, in re like, forget about predictions, I really think this is actually going to win. Many Hustlers fans as well were very disappointed that Jennifer Lopez didn't get any nomination for Best Actress. I mean, no offence, but it was a great film, but really? Many are favouriting Joaquin Phoenix though, and his role as the Joker. I mean, honestly, his performance was incredible. Don't worry, the likes of Toy Story 4 got in a nomination as well for Best Animated Film. This year, there has definitely been some incredible nominations for the coveted Golden Statue. But don't think for one second though that the predictions will actually come true. So who do you think will actually win in this year's Oscars? And dear lord, when would I be invited to the Oscars? I just want to wear a nice suit. And make sure you watch the ceremony on February the 9th on Sunday.